Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. And I'm now answering question number eight from the June 2024 replacement paper, the R paper from Pure Mathematics P1 of the NXL International A-Level exam. And here we have a question which is about integration. So part of question 8a is asking us to use integration to find f of x where they gave us f dash of x. So they told us the equation y equals f of x passes through the point r, which has got coordinates 4 and 13. And we're told that the, in, the differential of f of x, the gradient function for f of x, is given by this expression 2 times x minus 3 times 3x plus 2. And we've got to use integration to find the original function, giving you answer in simplest form. And as they gave us a point on the curve, we can find the actual equation of the curve, y equals f of x. So what we're going to do first is we're going to prepare this. For us to find what f of x is, we have to integrate this. If we want to go from f dash of x to f of x, we have to integrate. Because going from f of x to f dash of x, you differentiate. Okay, the opposite is um, going this way, you have to integrate. If we want to go from here to here, you differentiate. Okay, but if I want to go from here to here, I have to integrate. All right, so we know y is going to therefore be the integral of f dash of x with respect to x. So y is equal to, and what we have to do is we have to first get this ready for differentiation, for integration. So let's take f dash of x and let's simplify it first. So this is going to be two times going to expand this bracket. So x minus 3 times 3x plus 2, that's going to give you 3x squared. Then we're going to have plus 2x and minus 9x. I'll just write the steps, steps down. So you have plus 2x minus 9x, and then you're going to have um, plus or minus 6. Okay, so x times 3x, 3x squared, x times 2, 2x, minus 3 times 3x, minus 9x, and minus 3 times 2, minus 6. And all of that is multiplied by 2. So you get 6x squared plus, and that's 2x minus 9x, which is minus 7x times 2, which is minus 14x. It's going to give you minus 14x and minus 12. I've just combined them together to give you minus 7, then double. Okay, so now we're going to integrate 6x squared minus 14x minus 12. We should put it in a bracket here so that all of that is integrated with respect to x, and that will give us y, but we have to have a plus c at the end. That's going to give us 6x cubed over 3 minus 14x squared over 2. Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. Minus uh, a constant term will just gain an x, and then you must put plus c. Okay, um, so that gives us the integral. We have to find what c is. So, so far we have y equals, if you just simplify this, 2x cubed minus 7x squared minus 12x and plus c. We need to find what c is. And we know that the curve passes through the point r, which is 413. So we can use this point to find the value of c. We can replace the y with 13 and the x with 4. And that will give us the value of c if we simplify this. You have 13, and this is going to be 64 times 2, because 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 is 64, times 2, that's 128, minus 7 times 16, that's 7 plus 40, sorry, 70 plus 42, that's 112, minus 48 plus C. Okay, let's just make sure of that. We have um, 2 times 4 cubed. 128. We have 7 times 4 squared. 112. Okay, good. So 128 minus 112 minus 48. Okay, and that gives us minus 32. So you have 13 equals minus 32 plus C. So C is going to be 13 plus 32. That's going to be 45. Okay, so therefore we can say y is equal to 2x cubed minus 7x squared minus 12x plus 45. And that is the equation 
of our original curve after we integrated its gradient function and plugged in the value of the point that it passes through. And there's the answer to part A. And now for part B of this question. So we're told that given that f of x can be written in this form, x minus 3 squared times px plus q, um, find the value of the constant p and the value of the constant q. So basically f of x, which is given, which we worked out to be 2x cubed minus 7x squared minus 12x plus 45, can be written in this form x minus 3 squared times px plus q. All right, so we've got to find the value of p and q. Now, it's pretty simple for us to do this, not really that difficult. You have to just think about what happens. Um, for, for example, when you compare on both sides of this, uh, so this is kind of like what's called an identity, because when you expand all of this, this is what you're going to get. Expanding all of this will give you this expression over here. So this is like identical. These two sides are identical to each other. So if we think, for example, about what will happen when we get the x cubed term without actually having to go and expand it. I don't have to expand all of this. You can kind of expand it in your head in a way, right? Just think, for example, on this side we have, let's think of that, of the x cubed terms. On this side, you've got 2x cubed. Okay, and on this side, what will be the x cubed term? Well, when you square this bracket, you're going to have x squared. And then this bracket is going to be multiplied with that bracket. So you're going to have px cubed. Because if you think about it, this is x minus 3 times x minus 3 times px plus q. So this times this times this will give you the x cubed term, which is basically px cubed. So p is going to be 2. There will be no other x cubed term that will be, uh, you know, um, formed from that. And if you want to find out what q is, we can concentrate, for example, on the constant term. All right? Look at the constant term on both sides. Okay, On this side, we have 45. And on this side, if you think about it, you're going to have minus 3 times minus 3, which is going to be minus 3 squared, which is going to give you 9 times q. That's what's going to give you the 45. Okay, when you multiply minus 3 with minus 3 with plus q, that's going to give you the 45. All right, so that's going to be 45 equals 9q. So therefore, we can say q is going to be equal to 45 over 9. 9 fives of 45, that's 5. So we have P is equal to 2 and Q is equal to 5. So there's the answer to part B of this question. Okay, so you have basically you end up with F of X is equal to X minus 3 squared um, times 2X plus 5. That's how the expression can be written. And uh, part C of the question is about sketching this function and also involves a bit of transformations. So I'm going to save that in a separate part of the video uh, or separate video, sorry, um, because I want to save it under the playlist dealing with transformations and sketching graphs, which is going to be like a, you know, a separate topic. So I will save the, I will stop this video here. This video is basically mainly dealing with the uh, integration of this expression to give you the equation in this form and then also um, you know thinking about how to rewrite it or how to how how to find the value of p and q when it's factorized in this form and part c will be about sketching it so if you want to see other parts or other questions from this paper including part c of this question you can go to the playlist that will be linked at the top here if you want to find other questions dealing with integration from P1, you can go to the playlist that will be appearing at the bottom right of the screen. Um, and if you would like to um, subscribe to the channel, you can click on the link down here. And a video that will be linked at the top shows you how to use my channel to find those things you might want to find. Thank you for watching and see you soon.